This anime continues to get even more big brain as the separate timelines continues to confuse me, but also the status of characters. Are they alive or are they dead? Sensei, Okachan kind of confirmed that Wakaba is dead in their timeline. Now, two possibilities. She's fucking lying or it's actually true. I'm not really sure because all we see is Wakaba in the perspective of the past. Who knows exactly what she's become in the current timeline? And even if Wakaba is confirmed dead, maybe she had to die to become something else, like a demon lord? I'm not really sure. Also, I think it was interesting how we talked about the the actual human background. We got to know about every person's like um desires, right? So for example, the red-haired girl, our friend that was a guy that got turned into a girl, he actually was closeted gay, right? So I think, and Hugo was all, always kind of like a cocky, pompous asshole, but not that exaggerated. And Wakaba is like a gamer. So I feel like everybody's pers pers persona is kind of enhanced and exaggerated after they got reincarnated and got placed into those positions to align with whatever the inherent desires are, right? So for example, even beyond that now is Wakaba's gaming tendencies and how the admin is like talking to us and like giving us more skills. Is this specific to Wakaba? Or is this something that's common to everybody? Am I going schizo? I don't know, but I love the fact that I gotta keep asking myself these questions. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Shh, Julius? Julius Nisama? What's going on? Julius Nisama. What's going on? Big bro? Hey, big bro. Sure. Big bro like slow bro? Hidings was the shield, the tank guy, I think. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Sue is a super brocon towards Shunsuke, but what about Julius Nisama? Who, who does Sue like more? I wonder. Maybe Shun, because she's not simping over Julius Nisama that hard. Empire? The demons. Empire. War. That's, 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 that's a little, little homoerotic, but thank you. Faye, that's right. Faye is a thick boy now. She's gonna get even bigger. That's right, she ate her own kin. And she got taboo. Hmm. Two things from the same place are here right now. One in your care, one in mine. Two things from the same place. Two things. Fei and Shun? I... I... Scarf! Mother's memento. Mom dead. Scarf important. Imagine that's Wakaba's silk, right? Probably not. There's a lot of Taratex. Sorry, what did you say? What did you say? Okay, they're created with skills. So you need to just like take it from already shot strings 15 years ago. The timeline. Wakaba should be, yeah, hold up. What's going on? So 15 years ago, Wakaba passed, that kind of lines up. Collect some. That's not Kumo though. No, uh, again. I, I, I had the schizo uh, theory that like humans would perceive Kumo in a different way than we see her as like this cute anime eyes, right? So is this Wakaba or not? I, I don't, like the logical, the most intuitive is like, no, it doesn't look like Wakaba. What are you fucking talking about? I'm just saying from the human's perspective, would they see Wakaba like the cute anime girl? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> wait, wait, the egg, the egg, the no, 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 no. This is before we evolved. This is straight up the fucking egg. This is when we were trying to eat the egg, but we couldn't bite it. The human showed up and they burnt down our home. Wait! So people do perceive Wakaba differently. This is her! What the fuck? <laughs> you! Again, more things, more deception. I, like, 
I gotta be schizo, dude. I have to be full on schizo. I gotta ask these questions because you never know. Guess who's that egg? It's obviously Faye, right? It's clearly Faye. And like that egg is from the Elro Labyrinth of that Earth Dragon that we encountered. That was such a high prestige that we fucking you know, had to run away from. That's clearly the mom or the dad, right? My home! Uh, the worm egg. Faye's egg. Faye. Yo, come on! Go! Oh, dude! I mean, not directly just... Yeah, that is... That scarf is straight up from Akaba Silk. Yeah, that is. I mean, I think it can be pretty much confirmed there. If we assume that's how the humans perceive, but... You know, you have to say, so is Faye from that egg? And fucking other guy just cuts us off. But alright, I think it's pretty much implied, right? Okay. <laughs> if we don't, then what happens? We just die. Diplomacy amongst the demons? Are the demons really evil people? Because I, I want to know, like, are, are the humans really good people? Are the, are the demons the bad people? I don't really know. Until the day I die. Okay, death flags, death flags. <laughs> you just need someone's gonna die. <laughs> no, bro's dead. Bro is so fucking dead. This is so... Isn't this a death flag and a half? I promise. I promise I'll come back for you, little bro. <laughs> come on. <laughs> so I wonder who will kill Julius Nisama, huh? The, uh, let, let's do a little cooking. Maybe the person that Hugo was visited by was uh, one the spooky. Remember the spooky girl? So I'm, I'm just going to assume spooky girl was spawned on the side of the demons if we go with the logic that people's inherent desires and their persona gets exaggerated into spawn points, right? The spooky girl, maybe she got spawned as a demons. Maybe the, maybe spooky girl approached Hugo for, hey, you want some power, some Orochimaru shit, right? If you desire power, come with me. Hugo goes there. Hugo gets some weird fucked up monster powers, fights Julius, kills Julius. Then somehow we go back to Hugo versus Hyun plotline. I don't know. We left off at a pretty important fight. Remember, we have level four parallel schizo, right? So we have a fourth spider that we can talk to. We have brain, physical, magic, and some new one that we don't really know yet. Rod attack? With her claws? Sorry, her little spider legs. Okay. Is it enough to kill a dragon though? Wait, the rot cut our arm off? We straight up get damage fire using- You would think that we would have rot resistance when we're attacking or some shit, right? What the fuck? Is the dragon done? Got him hard. Hard, you say. I wanna use those abyss magic, man. Heresy is basically just like another word for debuff in this world, is what I noticed, right? Heresy nullification was pretty much just debuff resistance. Oh, that was an loot. I see. So they fucking baited us. Pri oh, wait, 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 wait. More intentional wording. I'm going to live with pride. And the opening also says spider pride. What happens with enough pride, man? Do we become a demon lord or some shit? What is that? N percent I equals ruler of pride. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? I am the ruler of pride. Ruler class privileges, ruler of pride. What does that mean? There's an actual spotlight coming up. Wait, no, that's an attack on a dragon. Nah, I doubt it. He just survived it, right? How much we got? Nothing? Just don't get hit then. Easy. What's our finishing move? If we kill this fire dragon, the amount of levels that we're gonna get is gonna be insane, dude. Alright, schizo friend number one, go! Alright, that's our new friend you got there. Magic number two? So the fourth schizo friend is another magic brain. 
<laughs> Look at this. I'm a schizo friend. We have four friends that we can just talk to. Okay, Abyss Magic, finally. Last time it didn't work, but now... That's the skill we learned last time, but we could have never use it. Holy shit! Whoa! A gate that opens to hell? What the fuck, dude? Yo, this is what I'm talking about! This is- And imagine what happens when you, like, manifest Hades! What the fuck? She's just opening up like a demon gate? What just happened? Did we just suck him on the lava? Uh, okay. No, the fire dragon is still there. I don't know what that gate really did. It just seemed like it sucked up all the lava. And while doing so, it just kind of just got burnt up. It seems like it's coming in, huh? Like it's coming with to the gate, right? Within the gate. The, the gate's not... Yeah, it's engulfing. It's like it's sucking everything, right? It's sucking the lava, but somehow this also damages the dragon. I'm not really sure how. And the dragon also got sucked up, right? The dragon also got sucked up. Bro still up? Bro still up? We need to suck it more. The dragon may have nut. It's so close though. So close to taking him out. Come on. The final blow. Dodge. Just brute force tackle? We can dodge. We can dodge. Easy. The web looks like red. Right? It looks so red. Like a sinister web. What's she doing? Is she eating? No, it was with the with her claw. Okay, okay. <laughs> Battle well fought. Now, level up. How much level are we gonna get? Oh, never mind. It's gonna keep going. Oh, shit. It's gonna keep going. Yo. Yo. This fucking AI voice is gonna keep going. Oh, another one! 18 to 19. Oh! 1920! Dragon Slayer. And if we get Dragon Slayer, we get the acquire skills, ultimate life, dragon power, longevity, ultimate life, worm power, all this other shit, right? Be effect. Additional damage dealt to worm and dragon enemies. Explanation. The title granted upon those who have defeated the dragon. Yo. Addition upon leveling up, growth is increased by multiple of 10x skill level. So basically, we're just becoming more cracked. All these levels are way more efficient. And again, more damage to dragons. We are our dragon's like natural enemy now, a natural counter. Could we take out Faye's apparent mother? You know, the one, the earth dragon that we saw before? All right, eat, fight, win, win, no, fight, win, eat. Who? Who? Mama Spy! So I, I think that this is the demon side, right? So I think this person is talking about Mama Spider. He knows that the dragons died? How? How, do, how would he know that a dragon died just now? Mama Spider wouldn't take action on herself. Mama Spider's daughter. Admin privileges. Ruler privileges. Ad are you Admin D? This isn't Admin D, right? But who are you? You're a demon though. A demon's approaching the labyrinth! Heavy evil eye acquired. Okay, we got more evil eye series. Applies amplified heavy target in field of vision just better. Okay. And remember, all eight eyes can do it. And if we get like a, what's it called? Um, telescope eye. Like we can basically use evil eye series while sniping from a distance. Yeah, it's pretty good gravity magic. Triple evil eye skill. Is it me or am I looking kind of demon lordy? Again, if I was not paying attention to this show and I was just watching it regularly, just thinking, oh, okay, what a cute little spider, this would have gone over our head. But we do know after leveling up taboo and pride and other shit like that, there was the path of godhood, but there was also the demon lord thing, right? So, like, is she actually becoming a demon lord? I think she is. I don't know, because like, there are, the demon lord already exists, right? But the demon lord at that time... Wait, because that Julius Nisama versus the spider fight where the demon lord of the future kind of scared the spider away. Is that Wakaba? 
And if we believe that the demon lord there is Wakaba, then perhaps it makes sense that Okachan saying that Wakaba is dead makes sense because somehow the spider has become a humanoid to form the demon lord. I... That's one possibility? That's, that's one possibility? It's that static noise again. Distortion in space. It's a demon showing up. It's the, it's the demon dude showing up through teleportation that's causing this. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Spatial magic sounds fucking OP. Wait, I feel like Okachan has spatial magic too because she just appears out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Six milliseconds passed. I don't know. Six microseconds passed. I don't fucking know, man. Okay. I feel like the demon showing up here is not a bad thing because if because like that guy what because like when we saw the demon lord for the first time in a couple episodes ago there was a guy that was basically kind of like the demon lord's like um uh, like a servant right was it this same guy so this this could be like the meeting of you know, I, I don't know what this guy's trying to do, but maybe he's trying to find a new demon lord or trying to find someone worthy of it. Isn't this the guy that was behind us? You know, in that scene where the demon lord was first introduced. Hello, I'm a spider. Hello. Unable to appraise. Doesn't feel threatening. Bro, I, what are you saying? Demon language. It's okay. <laughs> no, they, 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 they speak demon language. I can't speak isekai. <laughs> no habla isekai. That's Spanish. Why the fuck are you giving me Spanish? Wait, no hablo espanol. No hablo isekai. I don't speak your language. <laughs> She's talking like a kaiju. She's talking like a fucking foreigner in Japan. Wakari <laughs> masen. <laughs> you gotta speak demon language. I don't know. Fucking requested the admin. Hey, admin, can you give me language? Fucking perception language, like, you know, to translate or some shit? What the f? What? How did it. I'd like to think this is Admin D dropping a smartphone out of nowhere to help us out? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, use Google Translate now. What the fuck? Hello, this is Admin D. It's a girl voice, but I'm sure this is just Siri's voice, you know, on iPhone, right? It's not the actual Admin D's voice. Admin will translate for us. What are you saying? What are you saying? I want to know. Is this really the admin D's voice? This is crazy. Think about what's happening right now in this show. There's a fucking talking CGI spider. And there's a supposed demon person that's trying to talk to each other, but they can't. So there's a fucking smartphone that's translating between this demon dude and a spider. It's a smart... What the fuck is going... This is ridiculous. Like, this is absolutely fucking bizarre. Uh, huh? <laughs> he just leaves? Admin D, I guess, played some defense for us and said that, I don't know, it's, maybe it's not time yet. Like, no, you can't do that. Don't, don't interfere. This is my spider. We're, don't, chill for now. And he just leaves? He, he just gets upset. He's like, oh, fucking just leaves? What was that? Hello, Admin D. Yeah, what did you say to him, though? Hello, D. Yes, she did. She can read her mind. Normally. I mean, you always do. She does monitor us. Watching sounds a little bit more scary, creepier than monitoring. I don't know. Mm. She's been watching us since the beginning. Senior Admin D, that's it. That's the one. That's the developer. I don't know. She's just having fun. Oh! D! 
What the fuck? Yes. No? Relative to this girl, I'm an outsider. But is this world a game? What is this? Outsider. It's all a big secret. Because, like, again, my... My understanding of this show, this isekai world, was that there's some kind of virtual reality. It's like a game, and you have these admins who pretty much program this world, and that's why there's such like a gaming system involved in it. But then last episode, I got kind of... My, my head got bonked because we start to see other people's like inherent desires and how that determined their spawn point. And you know how Wakaba loves gaming, so I thought that this gaming aspect and the existence of Admin D was specific to Wakaba because of our gaming nature. But no, because the demon was specifically talking to Admin D there, so it's just coincidence that we are a gamer and that she's, you know, getting the favor of an admin, I think is what's happening. Because, like, if other people didn't have access to Admin D, then I would, I would go with my theory that, you know, she is the only player just, like, in solo leveling of this world, right? While everyone else seems to be just operating in a different system, but I don't think that's the case anymore. Alright. Give her some more OP skills, please. And hangs up. Doesn't even fucking... She takes the phone from us, man. She just takes the phone from us? Demon Lord Castle. Castlevania shit. The moon is red. Oh shit, more demon stuff. Okay! So, back to the present timeline. Is this girl Wakava? Maybe? I'm just gonna go with the fucking the demon lord in the present timeline is Wakava. That's my theory. Wakava, is this a, is, does this count as a lolly? Is this a lolly? I'm not sure. Milka. The voice acting. Who's, who's the voice actor? Who's the voice actor of Demon Lord and Wakaba? Is it, is it the same voice actor? Guys, tell me right now. Same voice actor or no? I'm gonna search this up. I'm gonna fucking search this up right now. Is this the same voice actor between Wakaba? It's a spider voice actor? No, it's not? No, it's not? Nah? No? It's not the same, but? What do you mean? No? Alright. So they went to, they tried a little bit harder. They, they hired two separate voice actors to make sure that I'm going to continue guessing. But I still think, I, I still believe that somehow a, 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 along the ascension into becoming Demon Lord, Wakaba, the M% percent I equals W or something, right? That, that is the um, progression to Godhood or Demon Lord. I don't really know. But maybe at some point during those 15 years, right? The bar has been met. The conditions have been met. The spider has now evolved into this humanoid Demon Lord form is what I'm going to go with. So many new characters. Bald! Bald! Oh, who is this? Oh, I see you. I see you. Right, that's where we are at. The, the empire that Yulis Nisam is going to. These demons look like humans to me, man. Are you sure they're demons? She's the she's the the leader of the second corpse. I don't want to be in the second corpse. Yeah. I want to bear your fruit. Manabu. Manabu's voice again. I know season two. Manabu. Bald. Bald. Sacrifice for the whole world? You would just cull off that squad? You're fucking terrified, Miss Demon Lord. Huh? I missed check round table? What did I miss? What did I miss? Let's see the round table. Alright. I am looking at the round table. Um, I'm looking at the round table. Uh, what am I? I'm I'm looking. I you, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go right to left. Let's let's go. Let's go and actually let's let's go. Let's go 6 p.m. into 6 p.m. Let, let's go. Let's go clockwise direction. All right. We got a uh, the lady here in a hood. Who knows? We got uh, who the fuck knows what this person's doing with the hair like that? Okay. We got blue hair dude. Uh, we got another blue hair dude. We got fucking. Uh, Titties, we got eye patch, we got baldy, we got long hair dude, we got that guy, and we got the armored dude. Maybe the armored dude is the one that visited us, right? Four o'clock. Yeah, I'm looking at four o'clock right now. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Oh, 
それで戦争は回避できるけどそれは勘弁してください二度と余計な口は出さないことだ順調だぞうんふんでは続いて第7軍やっぱり俺は納得いかねえなんでまとめ What am I? What am I missing? What? What? These are characters that we already know. I mean, the armor guy visited us, but like, what? 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 What, what else? What? What? What could I possibly be missing right now? Unless there's these characters that fucking exist on the table that we already seen in the past. I don't fucking know. I don't know. So why is this chick from who knows where the demon is? Is she from the Elro Labyrinth? Fight then! Fighter! Fighter! The demons look like humans to be honest. Hmm. And this guy is the one that visited us, right? This guy is the one that visited us. You know what I mean, crazy? If the person in the hood was Oka-chan, right? If they were intentionally hiding Oka-chan's like, you know, face. Like, could you imagine if Oka-chan was one of the fucking Demon Lord Councils? Like, oh, fuck, dude. Oh, they're fighting? Oh, 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 wait, they can't fight? NANI? Spiderwebs. Spider power! Wakaba, Demon Lord! Yo, she just turned into John Smith now! Oh shit! Okay. Sit! That's right, stop wasting your time! I wanna see Abyss Magic! Come on, manifest Hades! He does not fuck around. That was actually fucking terrifying, dude. Yeah, this is Manabu, Ano, ano Season 2 voice actor. Yeah, Nine Squadron, that's the guy that we saw just now in the, with the smartphone back in the past. What? Tenth Corp. Have we heard that voice before? Have we heard that voice before? Tenth Corp. The girl in the hood. Have we? Who's this voice actor? Who, who's this voice actor? First time? We've never met her? Could this be spooky? Who, what was that one girl that we, I, I, I forget what that one girl that approached Hugo looked like. I straight up forgot the details of what she looked like. Is she on this table right now? Is this Oka-chan in a disguise? What's going on? Who are these people? Why are you sipping tea in my chat? I need to know! Ah! <laughs> All right, let's start a war. <laughs> Wait! Wait! That's not church girl, right? Wait! What is your eye color? What is your eye color? Did you show me your eye color? Wait! Her eyes closed the entire time. Her eyes are closed the entire time! Church girl has same... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going anymore. You guys are fucking trolling me and I can't tell. But the, the, she has the church girl hair. She has the church girl's hairstyle, bro. Wait, wait, open your eyes. Open your eyes. What do you look like? I don't know. Yeah. Who are you? Mm -hmm. At least we can be sure this is Wakaba though. At least we know this is Wakaba though. It's gotta be Wakaba. This girl has to be Wakaba. This guy looks a lot like Hugo. Anos the voice actor, the Manabu guy. His, it's just the white hair in the top. More confirmation that this is Wakaba. That's right, the smartphone scene. This is the smartphone scene. And, and, remember what I said last episode about how fucking Wakaba is like the, 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 the cape? The, the, the fucking, I, I said that the demon lord is a spider because of these, these fucking leg things. And then it was actually not the legs. It was just the fucking clothing. But now we go full circle. It actually is a spider. 
And she has this by choice of design because she turned into a human form and she probably kind of misses the way that she was kind of all spider-like. So the clothing is inspiration and a homage that she was a spider, right? <laughs> Stop Krogan! She's listening! Who is she? Who is she? Who is, who is this girl in the hood? Who are you? Alright, they're gonna kill Yulius Nisama. Okay. Yeah, you're about to die, Julius Nisama. Oh, you are so gonna die, Julius. And we're back. Church girl is here. Conditions have. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Julius Nisama's dead. Julius Nisama's dead, right? This is straight up. Conditions haven't met. The title hero has been acquired. You received the title hero. <laughs> because the hero just fucking died. <laughs> so like, wait, it can't be the church girl then. Because the time, look, look, look. Because this implies, because Julius was approaching the demon lord's territory. And, you know, the church girl is here at this point in time. And the church girl is right beside, you know, Wakama this entire time. So it can't be the church girl, right? It, it can't, it can't be, it can't be. <laughs> yeah, you're a hero now, bro. Spatial magic? You're telling me church girl has spatial magic? So she took off the red collar and put the blue collar on and made it here in the class in the right time? Fuck! You're right. You're right. Alright, light magic level one, hero level one. Shun, your bro's dead. He pulled off the biggest death flags imaginable in anime history. Yeah, he dead. He dead. Oh shit, the credits are rolling without the ending. <laughs> What's this fucking scene, bro? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're the hero now, little bro. Where is this? You least need some of yeah, the silk scar. So, hey! Yo! Wakama should have straight up killed Julius and took the scarf and be like, that's my shit from 15 years ago, motherfucker. That's what you get. And that's another episode of Spider. And I feel like this entire episode, I was just going through a schizo fucking bipolar disorder, just mental collapse. I don't know what's happening anymore, but at the very least, my guess that the Demon Lord was Wakaba is true. Now, what I don't understand is who is the 10 Squad Corp, right? Because this girl, you know, the hairstyle is very close. Now, how does she get to the school on time? The spatial magic. She has blue collar there. You know, she might have two colors. I don't fucking know, man. But I feel I'm going crazier every time I watch this show. But it's a good thing. It's, it's a good thing. It, it, that means that the story, that means that like, this is the good type of anime for me to specifically react to because of the way I do reaction and just fucking I just break shit down and try to fucking read between the lines but sometimes there's nothing there so I just basically put in a fucking I basically put in a bowl with the metal spoon into a microwave and letting it cook for five minutes and there's fucking electric sparks going around but sometimes I'm correct sometimes I'm right right so that's, that's all right but like okay so Wakaba is the demon lord and yes perfect place to pause the frame Wakaba is the demon lord Julius Nisama is dead Shugo is still a wall, even though he got approached by who I'm assuming is Spooky, right? That got reincarnated into the demon side and somehow getting powers there. With Yulius Nisama being dead and Shun receiving the hero title, and Wakaba even knew it. Wakaba was straight up like, <laughs> "Sorry, Shun, I'm gonna kill your big bro. It's part of the game. Fuck you." Wonder how that's gonna go. Will Shun remain like this like character that everyone kind of likes or will he have a different character development and go down a different path altogether? I don't know, but on the human side, everything is fucking collapsing. And you know what would have been even better in this episode? This one thing, if there was a character that looked like Oka-chan here, right? If there was a character in this council of the Demon Lord execs looked like Oka-chan, oh my god, I would have fucking lost it. Like. Could you imagine if Oka-chan's actually here in their different disguise, dude? I don't fucking know, man. But that's it from me. The story continues to get way juicier. And we're only in like... We're not even at like episode 10 or beyond, right? We're still in the single digit episode count. So goddamn, we got a lot more to look forward to. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.